Hello, my name is Dr. Ilona Schneider, working at Eaton Technologies in Germany, Lang Lohnsam, and I'm working as professionalist, uh, enologist, but also in the beverage treatment products. And today we will have a small view on equipment which is called filterability tags via index measurement for beverages. First of all, I want to show you how the equipment works. We have here a storage tank where we can put in five liters of wine, for example. This five liters will be transferred in this measurement unit, and then we will filter the wine from the storage tank over a membrane or a filter sheet. We will start now with a trial. So we take, therefore, 3.3 liters of wine. We open our storage tank. And then we take a filter, put it on, and we pour in the wine in the storage tank. And then we can easily close again the whole equipment. That's now finished, and the next step will be now that we take in and put in the membrane. Now we start to prepare uh, the filter membrane. So therefore, we open the filter holder. We have to put out the syringe, put it on the top of the complete element. We take a membrane. The membrane is a PVDF membrane, 0.45 micron and it should be wetted completely as you can see here in the pictures. Afterwards, we take some ethanol, we will spray it small over, therefore we have no hydrophobic areas on the membrane, and the last step is only to close it, and that's it. We have prepared everything perfectly, we put in the glass, and we can now start to uh, define the parameters of the filter index measurement unit. We will start now to program the equipment and therefore we have here different uh, functions. We have settings and information. We will now program the equipment on the parameter button and there we have uh, three different parameters. We have to define the maximum volume of filtration. In our case it's three liters. We have to define the minimum flow rate which is in our case 50 milliliter per minute and we measure added limits. So we measure everything which is in storage tank and afterwards uh, it will stop with the uh, measurement. If this is everything done, we can easily start then with the measurement. We go back in the main menu and we start with measuring the whole equipment. We went the system, we open a little bit the syringe so that all the air bubbles can go out. It takes a while and afterwards the measurement starts. So first of all we have to wait, so we close the syringe and now the measurement starts after 200 milliliter then the constant pressure is in place in a membrane case where we have at the moment right now we have one bar of constant pressure and now this equipment is measuring a point after one liter F1, after 2 liters F2, and after 3 liters F3. And then we get, at the end of the day, a test program and also a graph of the whole measurement. The filtration is now finished, as you can see. All the 3 liters of the storage tank are filtered through the membrane. On the display, we will see different parameters. So we see the F1, the F2, and the F3 factor. And we also see that there is a good filterability indicated. Um, what we also can show you is how a membrane after a filtration like that looks like. And as shown on the surface, there are no particles, so it's a clean and nice surface. But that shouldn't be every time the case. For example, we have here a membrane where there are small particles on it or other substances could be over it and then the membrane is blocking and there will be not the result of a good filterability. The next step I want to show you is all our practical experience, what we have with the equipment. By meaning if we have a winery which is filtering eight hours during a day, 
we recommend to use three liters. Even though the wine we're saying it's a lot of volume, but with the big volume we have really precise and exact parameters and data. And we can then recommend if, from, if the three liters are filtered, two liters are easily going through, we define it as easy to filter. Everything which is lower, we define it as average to filter or too difficult to filter. That is only to give you an indication how really the enologist can adjust the filtration of the wine. A nice innovative and new feature of the equipment is that we can use filter sheets in it. And therefore we have prepared in this case a wine which is unfiltered, has an NTU of 50 by meaning we have yeast sediment for example in it and we have here prepared the filter sheet by soaking it 15 minutes in cold water. After that we put this filter sheet in the Beko in Tequa Lab 60 and we wins the whole system with a certain amount of water, cold water, and then we put the wine in, as you can see here, and then we start with the filtration. We have started the system right now, and as you can see, the wine is going through, and we can take a sample how fast actually, or how clear the wine is going over, and as you can see here we have the unfiltered uh, from the storage tank and here the filtered uh, wine actually after Beko Pet 450. That was now the session about the filterability test via index measurement equipment. We can use this equipment beside in wine also in fruit juice, in the beer industry, but also in the water industry. And we can also use it for all utilities, service media, in a winery, or also in other beverage industries. It's a nice tool, it's innovative, and it's one of the famous ones where you actually can use a membrane and also a filter sheet, and you can define the filterability of your beverage. Thanks a lot for the attention. See you soon.